If you find yourself regularly wasting tons of time on a specific site, you can easily block it with focus. While on the site you want to block, you need to drag the site URL onto the focus menu bar icon and drop it there. Now you should see a pop-up window that allows you to click the block button. Now the site is blocked and you can't access it while the focus app is running. If you need to unblock a site, you also should drag the URL of the block domain to the focus app in the menu bar and drop it. Having that done, you should see a pop-up window that makes sure that you really want to unblock the domain. You just want to click the unblock button if you are sure about that. In case you're looking to block a specific page on a site, you can also do that in a hassle-free way. You need to do everything pretty much the same as you did for blocking a domain, but this time around you need to additionally click the link icon before you hit the block button. That done, you'll be able to access the site in general with the exception of that specific page you've just blocked. If you really need to focus and make sure that you don't get distracted by any sites, you have the option to specify what sites you want to be able to access and block the rest. To do that, you need to go to Preferences, then Blocking and tick the Whitelist checkbox. That done, you can easily add the sites that you don't want to block. If you want to block an app, for example Skype, you need to click the focus icon in the menu bar, select Preferences and pick the Blocking tab. That done, you need to click the Applications tab and then click the plus sign to add an app that you'd like to block. If the app you're trying to block has been running, it'll shut down right away after you add it to the list. Other than that, you can quickly fire up or stop focus from anywhere on your Mac by holding down Command, Option, Control and clicking the F key. If you have focus set to Pomodoro mode by default, the global hotkey will start a Pomodoro session. Should you want to change the default hotkey, go to Preferences, General and click the current shortcut. Now. You can just type in a new shortcut that you want to use from now on.